Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video with me, Fuzzball 40 As always, if you're new around here, please do subscribe down below, click the like button, all that good stuff. It is massively, massively appreciated. We are already on the road to 7,000 subs, having just hit six. So thank you so much for all the support. It means the world to me. And as always, if you want to watch me do any of this stuff live, click the link down below, come over to Twitch. I know a lot of you have heard it before, but we've got so many new subs over here. I want to make sure that people are aware that we do stream live over on Twitch. On Twitch at the moment, we are doing the 0 to 2 million account, doing incredibly well on that. So again, if you guys want to trade along with me, so I always tell you guys with this series, trade while you're doing things. Those two series are live on YouTube. Make sure you check both those series out. Uh, one goes live at 9.30, one goes live at 4.30, uh, 5.30 even. Uh, but make sure you come over to Twitch to watch me do that stuff. You can trade along with me, make coins, which helps you do this method. Because this is episode 10 now, I think, of the League SBC Method to Glory. First thing to note is, apologies this morning, the number was not in the video for the account giveaway of the 0 to 2 million account. I had to re-edit the video, completely forgot to put it in, so there'll be two numbers in the next episode, which goes live tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, this video, essentially now, we're going to continue the grind of the smaller leagues that we've sort of not been neglecting, but not been doing too much of. The important thing about that is I need silver cards. There's a few very expensive silver cards in the SPCs at the moment that I, that I need to get, but there is also a chance I'm probably going to have to buy earlier than I wanted to, some of the ones for the Liga Santander, I keep getting dupes from the Liga Santander, it's just one of those unlucky things, um, so I might have to buy Mallorca and some of Osasuna, uh, some of each of them, as part of this video to get this one done, purely because I don't want to keep getting dupes, it's a waste, and I I'd rather spend the coins on them, recycle the packs again, so if we do that, I'll be opening those packs up on this, on this, uh, strip, this video as well, and the flip side of that is, it possibly means we may be able to do the 85, or one of the 85 rated squads, we might, need, we might be one or two players away, but but yeah, it is what it is. But the focus of today is going to be on the smaller leagues as I go towards them. Obviously, La Liga Santander we spoke about. Eredivisie, I've actually got two more teams I think I can do on that. Um, the Super League, I think I've got quite a few that I can do. The Saudi League, I think I've got quite a few I can do on. And Liga Nos, I think I might have a couple. And I think on the MLS, I've got quite a few that can be done. Um, TSL, again, I think I've come round on a few of those. So we're going to go do the minor leagues, bang out as many of those as possible. And if we can do any of the major ones, we'll do that too. And then we'll see if we can get an 85 rated squad done. One thing to note with this grind, and this is what I'm saying and why I'm debating doing the La Liga Santander, is if you are seeing loads of dupes from the same league, sometimes it is worth spending the coins you would have spent on bonds packs to get a league done. There are two reasons for this. The first reason is obviously dupes are not necessarily a good thing. They're not a bad thing because you can sell them and make profit from them. But dupes are more valuable in your club as do recycling this method to keep getting more of the 88 rated players and more of the packs. And that's the whole point. If we get the Liga Santander done, I can then recycle through and then get, get more of the packs done that haven't been done yet. So there's certain teams in that league that I know I can redo again. So that's something I may be able to do with this method. Um, so that's something I've got to think about. And Syria, I'm in a similar sort of situation with Syria. Brescia, for example, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of halfway to doing. I'm not quite there yet. Uh, Lecce about halfway to doing. But like Napoli, for example, Parma and these guys are actually quite cheap to do. They're not that expensive. I could probably get them done relatively easily and recycle this league. So what I'm going to go and do right now is I'm going to go away, do the minor leagues and see if we can get any decent silvers from that. And if we get some decent silvers from that league, I'll then be able to sort of start cycling for the major leagues as well. But we'll do the minor leagues first. We'll see how that goes. I will be right back once I've done some of the packs. I will see you in two seconds. All right, guys. So we've gone and done. I, I told you I've been neglecting the minor leagues to a degree because the other leagues were so profitable and doing so well. But the Super League, we are two away from doing it. And I'm going to break my own rule. I, I know a lot of you guys do this... They're all different anyway. You, a lot of you guys do five teams and then you buy five players from a team, sorry, and you buy them for both Konya Sport and uh, Gentcher, Gentler Bigley. Bigley. I've got um, five for each of them. I've got five players for each of them. They are expensive teams. Uh, Gentcher Bigley is not too too bad, but you only need six of their players anyway. So I'll be able to fill them up with other players from the league. So it's not too much of a problem. But I'm going to break my rule to a degree. I've done really well recently and I want to make sure that we're cycling players through again. We're, I'm getting way too many duplicates. So I'm going to be buying the players to these guys to get them done. That'll be the Super League done. We'll open up those packs and then we're going to move on to another minor league. See what we can do there. The packs for the Super League are actually quite good. The packs aren't bad at all. There's some small primes in there. Some rare small, uh, rare small mix or small rare mix, what do you call it? There's some decent packs in there, to be fair, in terms of the chance of packing something potentially. Uh, but I'm going to go and go, go and do those ones and I'll come back to you once we've done those to open up the packs for this part of the SBC. That'll give us another league SBC player done and potentially one more today means we could probably do an 85 rated squad relatively easily. But I will be right back once I've done those. Literally two seconds for you guys, and I was. All right, guys. So I was in the middle of recording the bit that I was recording. We completed the Super League, and the game crashed. And don't ask me why. It just did. Um, but just so you can see, we picked obviously Max Cruiser was the guy we went for. It's actually a really nice card. 
It's such a really, really nice card. For a league SPC card, it's not bad at all. A decent cam for him. Uh, Julian Banks is a little lucky, but not a bad card. But he's an 89 rated card, which is brilliant for the 85 rated squad, which will be easy. We did open up a jumbo premium silver pack. We'll claim the items now because for some reason it decided that it was going to just like bug out. So they're all down there now, the jumbo silver premium pack. The other pack, we got an ARP, uh, which is a buy-in silver, which is quite a nice one. These guys can go up there because they're league SPC. As you see now, they're going to have to start. Probably, I'm probably going to go and buy the League of Santander and get them done because, I'm, as you can see there, I'm getting a lot of dupes and silvers. I don't really want to be getting dupes. It's a waste of this method. This method works best when you're not getting dupes. Um, so it's important that I don't get dupes, essentially. So we've got the Premium Silver Players Pack, I think this is now. Again, you can always pack an icon from a silver pack. <laughs> Never going to happen for me, but you can always do it. Uh, anything decent here. Boys are very nice pull from uh, Mets. I think I still need to do Mets and League Guns, so that's quite nice. Uh, some more. I keep getting Blackburn players. I always get Blackburn players. Um, Martin Must Hand Keeper, which is not too bad. They're not that expensive anyway. That can all go to club. We've got small rare silver players pack. We've got two of those now. Then we're on to the packs with gold cards in them. You never know. What about like recently? We might pack something good. Um, we'll skip the uh, in intro, like the, the walkout sign, whatever it is. The boards. That's what we're talking about. The boards. We'll skip that. Anything decent in that? Don't think there is at all, really. Betis player. And that is pretty much it. Oh, no. He's quite nice. Fabio Martins. I need to get them done. So that's quite nice. And this final small rare silver player pack. What are we saying? Anything good in this one? Another, another West Ham player. Two silver West Ham players is weird. Living the Doors Quintero. These guys do sell sometimes, depending on the value. It's not too bad, but we'll probably have to use him for the Living the Doors, which ain't too bad. Right, but now we're into the gold. The packs that have got goals in them. Premium gold pack. Almost certainly going to have nothing in it, but either ways. Here you're looking for a draft token, a shadow, a hunter, anything like that. It's pretty much what you're looking for from these sort of packs. Um, and obviously League SPC players are always nice to get too. So anything like that is good. Uh, we've got some coins which ain't too bad. League SPC players. I'm getting rid of these guys here because I don't need those. We'll get rid of that. We'll keep that. We'll put Fellaini up to the transfer pile. Send that all to club and quick sell the rest. Um, small gold players pack. We'll do that one. Again, earlier in the year, I think I packed an Oblak from one of these. So, an Oblak again now would be very nice. I think it's a board. It is a board. Let's go. It's just a board, but I'll take a board from it. Without a doubt. It's Spanish, though, which is never, never a good sign. Set the back. Is that going to be Albiol? No, it's going to be uh, Bartra. But 83. Can't complain too much. Again, he might be able to go into an 85 squad if we can fit the Kemin around him. Fred's nice. All League, League SPC cards, which is very, very nice. I think I need to do Genoa as well, so that could be, that could be solid. A mixed player pack. Again, I like these packs because you get a mix of silver and bronzes in these as well. So I do like these packs very, very much. Again, we're looking, we're looking for the expensive silvers. That's really what we want right now. Um, just to try and keep the cost of the other expensive silvers down. Again, an Utrecht player, which I think I've done already. We've just done Turkish. So that's recycling that. But well, no, not too bad from that. Could be better. Um, small. No, we'll go another mixed, uh, mixed players pack. We've got a small rare mixed player, I think, as well. Which ain't too bad. But the Super League's actually got some half-decent packs. Considering the league's not that expensive to do. There's some decent packs in this league. Uh, they're, not, they're not incredible, they're wrong. there's no like rare electrums or anything like that. But they're, they are decent. That's a nice pool and a, and a nice Dusseldorf player. We need to do them again at some point, so we're happy with that. He can go up there. Other than that, not too bad. I'm pretty sure quite a few of the championship are close to being done, so they'll be done in the next video as well. So we do small electrum, then the small rare mix, and then the small prime will do. But the Super League is done. So we've got Super League and we've got the Cruiser and Shakiri that can go into the 85 rated... Um, SBC. Uh, I think we've got a few 84s in the club as well. I've also got an 86 rated Thor Thorsby that I got from the um, yeah, 86 rated Thorsby that I got from the league sort of challenge. You know the, uh, what's it called? The season objectives. I'm never going to use him so he can go into that as well. I'm not too stressed about him going in there. Um, he's never ever going to see the light of day realistically um, in my team at all. Uh, another small rare mix. I don't know if there's anything in that one. See what we get from this. If we get anything decent from this pack. Uh, Dumbi and that can go up there. Huesca, there's a Huesca player in there. I remember last year, FIFA 19, Huesca were a gold mine. They were like FIFA 20's Mallorca, for example. They were extortionate. Each of their players were like 15k each. It was ridiculous. But nothing in that one. Again, hopefully we can get expensive silver, which is what we are looking for. Uh, Egan in there. Nothing massively good there. Does he sell? Absolutely. Yeah, not too bad. 1,500 coins on him. Odegaard can go up there. But you'll see in the Liga, La Liga, I'm getting a lot of duplicates, as you can see. I just need to be thinking, right, do I need to be recycling that league? Because I've got a lot of teams ready to be completed in that league again. Um, again, no board or walkout in that one. Anything good in this pack? 
Again, the same guy again. Another duplicate of him. Tevez is a very nice pull for the uh, Libertadores, which is pretty decent. We're not far from doing that. And then small prime gold players pack here. We've got at least about 50, 60k sat in the transfer pile as well in terms of duplicates. Nothing from the small prime. But I'm going to go and look at the La Liga now, get that completed. And once I've completed that, I'm also then going to recycle. So you'll probably see me talking about La Liga once we pick the player. But also then recycling the league as well with the teams that are ready to go and are ready to be finished to open up some more packs. I will be right back. All right, guys. So we had to go out and buy a few Mallorca players. It wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. It's about 20k in the end. I did buy an extra centre-back that I didn't need to buy. So I've got to sell him back afterwards, which you'll probably see now. Made the error buying him. The most expensive ones are the centre-backs for that. But that is that league also now done, which is really good. We can re recycle those sort of packs and everything like that. Um, obviously, we're going to be taking Correa here. He's actually a card that I really... <laughs> I'm interested to use this card. It's actually quite a good, good looking card. It's four star, four star, high, high medium. Really good dribbling. Really decent, well rounded passing in terms of stuff you need from him. A good shooting and good pace. It's a good card. Stamina's a little low, but I was tempted to, to keep him using for a little while. But we're going to take him. He's going to go into the 85 rated squad either way. Um, that Raya, though, we're going to list him back for 9 6, basically, because we have to. We've got no choice. Um, absolute error for me. I've just lost myself like 500 coins, which is a bit frustrating, but it is what it is. Career goes to club. I'm going to go and complete more of the La Liga Santander and I will be right back for you guys to open those packs. All right, guys. So we have gone and recycled into La Liga again. Uh, as you can see, this is why I wanted to make sure that I was getting it done, basically, because as you can see, we've got nine out of 20 completed. I was getting so many dupes from those clubs. It was a waste of my time. I didn't want to be getting dupes from them. So we've got another nine of 20 completed, which is very, very good. We recycled that very quickly. Um, and again, we're going to get these packs opened up. It looks like I've got some money to deal with. It's going to be that player in it, I think you're pretty sure. Yeah, these two again. Two players. You don't, don't do what I do. It's lazy. I'd rather than... You should write down the, play, the player names. I don't write down the player names anywhere near enough. So I go and buy these players and I'm like, oh, I've already got that one in the squad. Um, which is very, very lazy of me. But again, I am to a degree time limited here. A lot of times I wouldn't be buying these players. I'd be bidding on them just to save even more coins. Something for you guys to be mindful of. You can save coins if you if you uh, bid on players rather than buy them. Spalik, let's go. Push your player. My God. What a pack that is. And a Dijon centre back. We move. Uh, Cosser, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. What a pack that is. We've got Dijon left mid, but they're not as expensive. But what a pack. That is next level good for a silver pack. Uh, he can just go down there. It'll be quick sold. Um, but yeah, bid on them if you can. If you can bid on the players you need, bid on them. It saves you, it saves you coins. Um, but I am relatively time limited. Between this video, between the video, the 0 to 2 million series, again, if you haven't checked that out yet, make sure you check out the 0 to 2 million series. It is that account's being traded to to hopefully 2 million coins and then being given away completely free to one of you guys. So make sure you check that account out. Let's quick sell this stuff here. You can sell player contracts. I just don't. I, I've got enough time in, the, in my day to be able to sell these as well. Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Can we pack to make nice on this? Uh, I think the answer to that is no. Inclusively, a no. Um... But yeah, we were grinding it out. I'm, we should be able to get the 85-rated squad done. What I think I might do is rather than doing the 85-rated squad today, I might hold off and try and see if we can get the 85s for both teams done in the next episode. I don't know if we'll be able to complete the icon completely, but um, we'll, we'll try. We'll try either way. Um, but I think I might hold off on that. And we'll just go over. I know the Eredivisie is pretty much done now. There's a couple I need to buy for the Eredivisie. We've got five teams left to do for, the, for them, but we're pretty much bang on time to finish them off as well. So I might get that done instead for the rest of this video. And then do the 85 squads, hopefully for both the mid-icon in the next video. And that'll be that done. And then you guys have been saying you want me to continue this grind, so we will continue it. Um, we'll sort of do a vote, I guess, or a comment down below uh, on like, the next video where you guys want me to go next with this series, who you want me to grind towards. Uh, I can tell you now it will not be Hazard. It will not be Hazard, because I will be there all year trying to get Hazard. Um, and I've already got Overmars at left mid. But for someone like an old Bonner or something like that, might be easy enough to do. Two Mariappas in two packs, that's really jarring. I've got a lot of stuff on the tra on the trade part needs to be sold as well. Right, so we've got... Let's do the Electron Player Packs. Let's get those done. If we get anything decent from these, it would be quite nice. Nothing from that one. Again, I'd be happy with them Dijon and Brescia mix up. That, that was very, very nice. Something along those lines would be great. Um, no, not really, no. Vinicius Junior, actually, that is a great pull right now. And again, opportunity selling, lads. I'm going to sell him. I need Real Madrid right now. But I'm going to sell this guy because he's expensive for an SBC at the moment. We'll get like 3-7 for him. He's very expensive for the... Uh, it is the Foot 12 SBC, I think is, is the name of it. He's extremely expensive because of that. So I'm going to sell him straight away. Again, check your clubs to things like Premier League French centre-backs and stuff like that. They are all going up in price, every single one of them. 
Uh, nothing in that one. Again, looking for a Spanish player would be nice. Spanish player, silver player. We're not looking for Spanish players. My mind is everywhere today, lads. Um, again, a very bang average pack there. They can all go up there. Transfer piles getting slowly but surely full. Uh, premium mixed players pack. We'll go to premium mixed players pack. Then the small prime gold. Then the small. Then the prime electric. Then the small rare gold. Probably is the way we'll do it. I'm pretty sure this means there's a limited doorways player in this pack. I might be wrong. I could well be wrong. But I feel like it is. Yeah, that is. Fast balls always rare. Uh, Jorgensen for Dortmund. Uh, Dusseldorf even. Very nice. We'll take a Dortmund. Uh, Dusseldorf player. Prime Electron pack. Then small prime gold. Should have done it the other way around. But hey ho. It is what it is. Can we get a border walkout from this? No, we can't. Can we get a decent silver at least? A decent silver. Make it happen EA right now. Okay. A bit delayed. Mm, nope. Not really. Bruno Costa is not too bad. Acosta here is not too bad. I need him done. They can all go to club. Right, so we've got a small prime gold and a small rare gold. And then we'll try and get another league SBC completed in this video. And then I've got a lot of selling to be doing. I think that is a board, isn't it? It is a board. It is a walkout. Let's go. Easy. Brazilian. Centre forward. Who is this? Fernino. Let's go. He can definitely go into the 85 rated. He hasn't got that much of a value at the moment. He links to Shakiri, which is perfect. And that's... Good amount of chem from that. So we'll take an 86 rated. Another walkout packed. We keep moving, lads. We keep moving forward. Uh, Delaney can go up there. And we've finally got a small rare. So now we've got a walkout in that one. We will get nothing from the small rare gold player pack. It's just the way it goes. The law of probability says we get jack from this. So I'm pretty sure we'll get nothing. And we get nothing. So we will send all this stuff to club. Put anything else we need a trade pile. I've literally got so much of my trade pile that needs to be sold. Like, actually, that's all good because that can all go there. We're at 95 items on trade pile. I'm going to go and try and complete another league SBC now. And if we can do that, I will be... All right, guys. So we've gone and completed the Eredivisie. The only team we didn't really have that many players for was Feyenoord. They're, they're one of the more expensive teams. So it actually cost me a fair bit to get done. But again, I don't really want duplicates. I want to recycle these leagues rounds as much as I can. Uh, so I have to buy three or four for them. That were of, of sort of, of a price, I guess, is the best way of putting it. We're going to be taking Musonda. The, the thing is here... Is Bahabek would probably work better in terms of the fact that I'm probably going to need strikers in chemistry, but we're going to take Rusonda purely because of the rating. Again, it helps me lift up the rating as much as possible. What we'll do before we go and open the packs up, there's nothing special in the packs, but we'll go and have a look at, look at them anyway. But we're going to look at the club. I opened some bonds packs up this morning, so I've got another 500 players in the club to convert, which I'll be doing at some point in the near future. But again, if we look at the state of play of the club at the moment, we have Krusa, we have Korea, Musonda. Oh, we have Shakiri. That, that Cyprian staying because he's my first one. But once we recycle it round, he'll have to go for now. Uh, we have a Roberto Firmino that can go into this. We also have a For Forsby can go in as well. I don't mind like I don't mind putting Forsby in. I don't mind putting Neto in. I don't mind putting Smalling in. They're never going to get used. Even Ramsey can go in if I was that bothered. Rodriguez, Bruno Fernandes, Paulinho, Ruffier, as Peliqueta. We've got a lot of cards here. We Potentially, because the next episode you guys will see is me opening my rewards. Potentially, we could do both and get the mid-icon done in the next episode. Which is what I'm hoping for. Essentially, we can get the mid icon done in the next episode. All the grind for 10 episodes will be will be worth probably the Bobby Moore I'm going to pack again because that's been my luck recently in terms of icons. Uh, icon packs, I've got Bobby Moore, Bobby Moore and Deco. I mean, I can't complain about my luck per se because I packed Ronaldo and Hazard as part of this grind. But it's not it's not been too bad. But we are getting there bit by bit by bit. We are we're grinding it out. We're getting to where we need to be. Uh, again, anything decent in this pack? Not massively. Sheffield United sent a goalkeeper, but they're not expensive anyway. Bit of a meh pack, that. We call that definitely a meh pack. But two small, rare, silver packs. Again, these can be very nice, because a lot of the expensive, expensive cards in this game are rare. Uh, rare silvers as part of this grind. So we'll try and see if we can get anything from this. Uh, Capino's not bad at all. He's got a decent value. I wonder if this guy's got a bit of value. No, yeah, not too bad. Not a bad pack. Could be better, could be worse. Uh, worse things will happen than that. We'll try and get the Libertadores done next time as well. It's going to be a bit of a grind to get that one done because they're a pain. But we'll try and get the Libertadores one done. And um, and yeah, that's, we should have enough. I think by the time we open rewards, as long as the rewards aren't terrible, we should be okay to get the icon done. Um, again, not great, not terrible. Again, a striker in there. We've got small gold players pack and small prime mix. I'm not expecting anything from these. To be fair, I'm relatively happy with Firmino. It's been, it's been an okay day today. We've, we've done all right. We've not... Packed anyone massive, but again, if Bobby Firmino is perfect for the 85 rated team, so I can't be too disheartened with that either way. Um, this can all go to there. These two can go up to club. 97 on my transfer list now. Small Prime Mixed Players Pack is the final pack of this video. Again, if you did enjoy it, please do subscribe down below. Click the like button, all that good stuff. It is massively, massively appreciated. We are getting absolutely nothing, I assume, from this pack. 
Are we getting nothing? Uh, actually, I think it does sell for a little bit. Not massive, but it sells for a little bit. 1,000 quid, we'll take that. Um, but yeah, do subscribe down below if you're new around here. Click the like button. All that good stuff is massively appreciated. If you want to watch me live, click the link, come over to Twitch. And as always, check out fittraining.co.uk for all your training needs. But for now, lads, I am out. Peace out. I will speak to you.